Welcome back to West Aussie Diamond Art. I'm Zara and if this is your first time here, welcome, great to see you and if you like what you see, do all the things, subscribe, comment, like, ring the bell. Um, if you're returning then thank you, great to see you back. Today I have a package to show you from diamondpaintings.com from memory, it's not written on the bag but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I have, let's see how many we have in here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're still coming. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And lucky last. Twelve. Now, if you haven't already, I suggest you get a cuppa, because this could be a long one. So, we shall start with... I think we'll start with the big one. These ones came about in part thanks to Diamond Dots. Some time ago I did um, a series of Diamond Dots little ones, little paintings that were um, emoticons. And I liked them so much that I started searching for other diamond painting companies that might have emoticons. Although this one isn't one. Um, and then I found this company and they had them, but they also had this beautiful image as well. but I didn't realise until after I'd actually um, bought these that they were double-sided adhesive. Now with double-sided adhesive they're a little bit more finicky, not as forgiving as poured glue. So. Before I get on to wrap, unwrapping it, we have our toolkit, our boat wax pen, we also have tweezer and a multi placer. So I'm just going to see if it's got a number on it. I'm not sure how many that multi placer is. It could be a nine, I'm not sure. So there's that. Those are the drills. Right. This comes on a foam roller, this one. I like these foam rollers. They're very useful for rocking things up. Now with double-sided adhesive, once you've unrolled them, you have to lay them flat. Can't roll double sided adhesive backwards like you can with port glue. Pick that. Things are falling off, but that's alright, we can deal with that. that. That's live. So, this one doesn't say how many colours, so I'll have to count them for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So there are 30 colours in this one. It's in 
45 by 90. Um, I'm just going to flip this over onto its back because one way to see how good a double sided adhesive canvas is is by looking at the back of it. And there are no wrinkles or anything like that on the back, which is a really, really good sign. So, on that basis, hopefully, the image underneath will be equal a bit. Oh, hang on. Maybe just there. Right. Let me get this laying flat. Now, to do that, What you do is you take this opaque covering off, and this is how you can tell if they're double sided adhesive or not because they have this opaque stuff. Opaque, it's release paper actually, but you be very, very careful with it and make sure. Oh, yeah, just what I thought. Now, I'll see if I can get my hubby to zoom in along here and here you will see that the glue is bunched up unfortunately that's one of the problems I think these those are called rivers bubbles um, are literally bubbles now the way you can treat this is you get something like this and you can score across, Let's see if I can do it for you, the wrong angle probably, you score across where the rivers are and that will actually break the glue and it should settle back down but you have to do that on all of them which is one reason why double sided adhesive is a pain but I have worked on it, it's not my favourite I have done images on double sided adhesive before um, the drills don't move as easily on double sided adhesive so if you put them in the wrong spot unlike the poured glue where you can easily shift them you can't do that so much on these and when you put this paper back down make sure you don't get any air bubbles in there because that can cause issues too so you can tell just by, by me doing that that's much flatter than up this end so we shall do that again up here once again, go slowly, and yes, this has got rivers up in here as well. But it is still workable. I have actually seen someone a while ago now take. Um, the double sided adhesive off and replace it with poured glue. Now, I don't know if you saw how that just gave, that's where I got to with the last lot. So now it should, I mean, the, while we're here, the clarity of the image is really nice. It's a um, get the inventory sheet out to show you what the image is. I just want to cover this up so I don't end up with paper all over it because I've done that before today and then that ruins them.
This is the image. It's a nice little abstract bubble image. Need to lift it up. Here are the colours, and I think you can tell which is which is the biggest one, and that's that's a, a wonderful 310, which will form the background predominantly um, of the painting. So we've got lovely reds, yellows, browns, mauves, creams, blues. It's a beautiful, beautiful image, beautiful colours. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this one. So those are your drills. I'm, they're pre-bagged so I won't take them out of this. You can see them. A lot of people like to work from bags. I don't. Um, only because I find they become annoying more than anything. So I like mine a bit better organised. So I will pick this up when I eventually get to doing it. So And when I do, I'll, I'll do a post review. So that's the first one of 12. On. The second one that we have to see today in this big haul is called simply I2. That's what the company called it. And you have one key, there are 33 colours in this. You have instructions on one side as to how to do it. Um, I'll show you the, the image in a moment. The drill kit, same as before. Boat wax pens and tweezers. If it changes, I'll let you know. Let me flatten this out. Okay. Because this is being folded this way, as I expected, even though the back looks okay, we have what I think they call bubbles. That's where the, the tape is actually lifted off. Now, let's see if I can get my husband to zoom in. Let's see if you can see these lines here, dear. Oh. Down the bottom there. Yeah. Now I could be wrong, but I think those are the, what their classes, the bubbles, because um, the glue looks like it's lifted off. Once again, you should, I think if you score those, you should be okay to still place drills over the top of them. In the middle of the canvas, it seems to look all right. I'll just see if I can flatten this out. And I'll have a look at the other side. I think sometimes I've seen people stretch the canvas, which can help. Ooh, in fact, I think that is. Hmm. Learning a lot about canvases. We have different types. This is a firmer one. And you'll also find that double-sided adhesive tends to have an overhang on the side. Okay. Now this section, you have a little bit, but those, it's almost negligible really, from what I can tell from here. Um, don't know if you can actually tell what the image is very well. 
I'll turn it around to see if you can see it better. But there's an eye in here with a butterfly down the bottom. I just seem to have a thing for eyes. I don't know what it is. I'll show you the a better picture of it in the inventory sheet. So once again you have a mixture of numbers. Oh, it's just numbers and letters. Oh, um, two symbols by the looks of it in that key. That's pretty cool. And these are going to get hung. And what I've done with some other ones is that I just get skirt hangers and I'll clip the top and then I'll put some on the bottom to drag, to pull the thing down to straighten it. And I'll just let them hang like that. And that was a 30 by 40, I don't think I told you that. Okay, so here's the image. Hopefully you can get some decent, a better view of it. Um, so it's a really pretty eye, lots of purples. I see purples and I think of my daughter, because that's her favourite colour. Um, see, once again, pre-bagged. So for those of you who like to pre-bag that work out of bags, this is right up your alley. As expected, lots of purples and blues. I think there's black in there, yep. Um, not many blacks. The inventory sheet has the um, the letter or number. It doesn't actually have them numbered like it does on um, as in one, two, three, four, as like it does on the canvas but it's got the actual symbol, the DMC, and the number that's required. And DMC, for those of you who like a little bit of trivia, sorry, I have to bring my phone out for this, means Dolphus, Meg, and I've probably pronounced the G in that too, too hard, but anyway, and Company. It's a French textile company which produced embroidery floss and yarn used in crochet and knitting. So just for those of you who like little, little bits of trivia, that's what DMC and DMC code means. So you have quite a good range of colours in there. Um, it should be very pretty when it's done. And on the front you have the code of the canvas. Can you see that? You have the size of the canvas um, and it has the number of the colour, it has the DMC code of the, of the colour and this, in this case 1.2, I think is the weight um, of the drills in the bag. So you've got all your information on here. Um, it's the same with the previous canvas. So you can actually then um, store, for those of you who like to store your your drills somewhere else from your canvas, then you, you've got all the details that you need on your drills to match them up with the relevant canvas, which is a, a really good thing. I, tend, I will store my drills separate from my canvases so that I can hang them. So that's that one. We'll move on to this next lot, which are the ones that inspired me to get these items from this, this company. I just happened to get these other two because I like them. So I should put those there. Now, I like emoji pens, and as I said earlier, the Diamond Dots had a series 
of them, and I wish I could find more from those. There's only, they were only small, like, you know, five centimeter type ones, really, really cute. But I thought, I need to get more, because I just find emoticons very, very happy. And so I found 10 of them in this company. And this is the first one that I just picked up. It has five colors in it. You have your, your boat, wax and pen. The boat on this is green, that's the only difference. Those are your drills. This one is called Love. Because it, it's a smiley face and it has love hearts. Sorry, I, I become a child with these. It has five colours in it. Now, hopefully... And it has... Uh, this one has very faint guide circles. Isn't that so cute? Sorry. You'll get a lot of that. I just think these are so cute. But I don't know if my hubby can zoom in. But the background symbol has a very, very faint grey guide circle on it, but I don't think the others do, I can tell. Maybe the T does, but it's very hard to pick it, which is good, because then if this is a light colour, you shouldn't see it from behind. The canvas, this canvas is in pretty good nick. Still got the rivers, but I'm expecting that, but nothing like the other ones were. But isn't that so cute? It's gorgeous. I love it. It just makes me feel happy. And my plan with these is when I've done them, because I store a lot of these sizes of diamond paintings in a portfolio that I have um, to store such things. I'm going to have a whole series of these um, stored so that I can just look at them and feel very happy. They're fun. And we need a bit of fun at the moment, don't we? Life is a little bit too serious. I'll just straighten this up. So all these other ones are now 30 by 30s. You could also frame these if you really wanted, but I just want, I'll put them on some black paper and just put them in my, my folder and I'll cut around the edge and then I'll keep the key and um, file it all the way. So that's, that's the image. The numbers on these, I just looked at this, it's, they're, they're not wanting you to, um, to miss the key. It's a very big key. Great for people with eyesight issues. So. And these are the colours, once again all bagged up. You have white, red, cream, yellow and brown. Very simple colours, but very beautiful. Oh, I can't believe how exciting I am. Yeah, that was just the first one. You wait until the walls are up. This is cool. Yes, I do get excited over diamond paintings. So that's number two. Number three. This one has nine colours in it. I went through and actually checked 
or counted all of the colours so that I didn't have to do it beforehand for you. Oh, okay. We have a different toolkit this time. So far we've got three different ty types. We have the one with the funnel, the one without the funnel, this is the more standard one. Now we have a circle one with wax and a pen. I sometimes um, have seen people use these circle um, tool, uh, circle boats for um, trash drills. Because from a putting them in, oops, putting them in to um, get the drills on. Uh -oh. Might not work. Now, this is a good example of how careful you must be with double sided adhesive because that's lifted in the corner. It's still covered it, so that's okay. That's fine. But yeah, be very careful when lifting up this sheet because you can lift up the corner um, of the double sided adhesive and then it, you can pull it with it. So yeah, this one's called Thumbs Up. So cute. Once again we've got the guide circles, very faint ones on the background and on the T. Tends to be on the ones with the um, the lighter backgrounds. I don't want to take it off or I might not get it back on again. Okay. So that's Mr. Thumbs Up. And that canvas is actually pretty good. I haven't really seen any rivers. Oh, there might be some up here. And apart from that little bit down there that was lifting, we should be able to get it to stick. This looks like it's in pretty good nick. So I won't have to do much in that. They're all very sticky. Ow. And we'll just flatten this down again. I actually saw somebody yesterday go around with a bone score around the edge to make sure that the tape was firmly adhered. So as to prevent what just happened then. background on this one looks like it's DMC code 5200 which is the brightest white that you can get. It looks like these are all pre-bagged so that will please the number of you. I might have to take these out. Okay. Mr. Thumbs Up. And once again we have a very big key. I love the sizing of their key on these. They've got this as B5200. Don't know, nobody seems to understand why they put the B in front on there, but it's 5200, so it's the brightest white that you can get. And for this one, because you can't really see them that well, I'll pull them out. So 
So that's your 5200. And so you've got all these lovely colours. And of course, lots of this colour. So those are your nine colours. Very pretty. These shouldn't take too long to do because they don't have a lot of colours so you're not having to do um, a lot of changing. They, um, there's a lot of colour blocking in these. But that's fine if you're wanting something quick and simple and easy to do. There's a break from bigger paintings. These are perfect for that. Number three. Number four. This one's called Rock On. Takes me back to my childhood. Okay, then we're back to our, our white toolkit. This has 18 colours in it. This one doesn't want its cover taken off. It's too busy rocking on, you see. My husband just rolled his eyes at that joke in case you're wondering why I'm laughing. have some rivers in there but nothing that you can't handle. In a way the colours on this remind me of Daffy Duck. So there's um, our rock on emoticon. Yeah, the, the bow on here and the colour of this one really remind me of Daffy Duck. I thought she used to be cute. So we're going to have blues and yellows obviously in this one and white. Actually it's cream, it's 3865 which is a creamy white. I think it's quite a called an off-white. I rather like that one. These all only have one key on them, by the way. They have the key down one side and the instructions on the other side. That, that's standard right across all of them. Ooh. Interesting. We have a greeny colour in this one. Didn't expect that. Once again, that's the image. In case you didn't see it properly before. Another nice big key. And this does not have any 310 in it, but it has 939, which is a very deep dark navy blue, almost looks black. So, and these are your colours. And this green, I didn't expect to have, we have got a darker green in there too. Hmm. Interesting how shading works. I'm still learning how they all work together and somehow it all comes together well. well yeah, and that's the, the background 
colour 3865. And it looks like we've got some train to escape. toolkit. This one is simply called Happy. Most of us would know what Happy emoticon looks like. We have eight colours in this. Hopefully with it being hung and stretched, because of how I do it, this should sort itself out by the time I get to it. I'm not going to take this up any further because otherwise it's going to come off. But that's Mr. or Mrs. Happy. This one's going to need some work, but by the time I get to it, it'll probably be okay. okay. Once again, they've been pre bagged. Pretty, pretty much what you expect your browns, your orange, your white, yellow. So pretty much the same as the others. Decent um, inventory sheet to go along with that. So this is one of two. This one's called Cheeky. My daughter had a cat called Cheeky. She didn't look like this though. The white toolkit. I've never seen my daughter's cat with her tongue poking out. And this has quite a few. Yeah, it's got bubbles in it. Do you want to get a look at them? Down along here. That's one cheeky face, that is. It has ten colours. These are going to be a challenge because of having to um, deal with double sided adhesive for a start, which tend not to be as forgiving. But 
they also need to be got rid of, got the other things rid of. Mm -hmm. These are your colours, they're actually quite a, I don't know if you can see them properly, I'll open these up. This is your colour palette. And of course, white. So there's your colour palette and your drills for this one. So, not a great deal of variation. But they're still gorgeous. And they're so far they're all round, which is my preferred drill. I'm not a big fan of squares. But I will work with them. I can can and do do diamond paintings with squares. They just take me a lot longer. Try to run through these others quickly. Both wax pen and tweezers for the toolkit. We have a rogue square in that one. This has eight colours. It's a 30 by 30. All these 30 by 30s are likely to be 25 by 25 or thereabouts. But it doesn't really matter for these. This one is called Cheeky 2. Hmm. This is so cool. Cheeky 2. It goes right up to the top here. Very good image, this one. Colours red, white, purple, orange, so pretty much the same as the previous ones, all pretty standard colours. So that's that one done. This would be this one is the First one of Diamond Dots ones that I did, I think. All I remember is it had sunnies on it, so it may have been this one. Boat wax pen and tweezers again. This glue comes out quite a way, I've got it in this one. Can you guess what colours we're going to have? Let's see. Black, maybe? Yellow, orange, white. You think there might be red in there? Hmm. Let's see, what do you see? What did we... I'm really glad that the, um, the guide circles on these are so faint. It's actually difficult to see them. So you've got 16 colours in this one. 
and there is no red in that one, but there are orange, black, grey, green, white, yeah, so pretty much stand I'll take the, you can't see them. Those are your colours. No red. But the beautiful bright yellow though. I like that one. And orange of course, my favourite colour. You've got to have orange. I like that one. This one's cool. So that's cool. That's what it's called, is cool. I hadn't seen this one before. This is called Cowboy. It has 19 colours in it. I think this is actually the most colours. Boat wax pen, green version. We only have two more after this, folks. If you've lasted this long, and certainly if you've last, you last until the end, Put an emoji, a favourite emoticon of yours down in the comment section to let me know that that's that you you stuck it out with me. It'll be very interesting to see how long this video is. So that's Mr. Cowboy, and I can say Mr. because it says cowboy, not cowgirl. Well, you could turn it into cowgirl if you like, but yes. We're going to have browns, obviously, in this one because of the hat. And possibly red because you've got the red scarf underneath. And there'll be definitely orange and yellow. It wouldn't be an emoticon without a yellow. At least not this type of emoticon. The canvas on these, generally okay. I'm actually, for Dell's ad adhesive, I'm actually quite impressed with these. Actually, would you believe there is in fact no red in this? It's got orange and a brown, ready brown. Yeah, well, there you go. This shows you how much I know. So those are your colours, greys and blues and whites and sort of bluey grey, this pop of orange, that might be the scarf actually. So that's Mr. Cowboy. Second last one, I'm actually going to save that one. This one is called Peace. It has nine colours. A white boat wax pen with tweezers. on a Saturday so we're trying to get it in amongst everything else that we do on a Saturday like shopping there's a lot of background on this one so that's the whole of your image and the rest is background so that's cool and there's there are slight rivers in there but nothing that you can't handle so there's going to be a lot of yellow in this one, I reckon, because it's predominantly yellow.
These are just really happy things, happy ones to do. And the background is actually 5200, not 3865. This is the colour I reckon that's going to be the bulk of it, which is 742, so it's a sort of yellowy orange. So that one and the white are the two most colours in them. They've got some tag alongs as well in there, some others that wanted to party with other colours. So lucky last, yay! Congratulations if you got this far. This has got 15 colours in it. I really like this one, especially at the moment. It's, I think it's the white boat wax pen freezes. This celebrates people, um, for me, I'd see this as an emoticon with a mask on. Um, this says to me, reminds me of all the frontliners during these times that we're living in. celebrates everything that they've done to help. I've not actually seen this one before. It doesn't mean it hasn't been around though. So this is just simply called mask for obvious reasons. So on the whole I'm very impressed actually with the quality of these so Maybe I won't be so hard on double sided adhesive for the future. Take it as a challenge. Gorgeous colours, beautiful bright yellow, nice green. That's got a gorgeous shading. So yeah. So I was thinking of our front liners when I got this one. So I thought, yeah, one way my way of celebrating all the hard work that they they've done and continue to do. And not necessarily people in hospitals, but people out in the community working with those in their homes or whatever. They need to be saluted as well. So that's that haul. That's a big haul. Thank you for staying with me for this length of time. You need to have a big clap if you stayed this long. Really appreciate your time and really appreciate the the fact that you're willing to stick it out with me. So that's the, it for this video. Until the next video, um, be safe, look after yourselves, be kind to each other and until I post a video in my next one, goodbye for now. <laughs>